Good morning, everyone. At least, during the time of this recording. It's Domo, back again with another flower playthrough. We found ourselves back in our apartment, staring at another pot of flowers. Or flowers, should I say. This little red one right here. Now, let's just dive right into it. Like the last playthrough, we start with more imagery of the black and white city. Oh, and it's very reminiscent of this landscape right now, with the only color being emitted from this red flower. It's very bleak and dreary, although monochrome can have its a beauty all in its own right. There we go, starting off strong, collecting these flowers consistently. Now this coloration actually- oh, th there you go, we missed one. Way to start it off, Domo. As I was saying before we miss this little guy, is that this coloration really reminds me of a dystopian theme. Now the first time I ever encountered, or at least the earliest memory I have- oh, hello. It's like Stonehenge. Um, the earliest memory I have of a dystopian setting was when actually I read the book The Giver back in elementary school. Back then, I didn't really understand the concept of... Oh. Excuse me, I keep getting sidetracked. <laughs> I didn't really understand the con- And the sky turned blue. That is pretty. I- Finishing up that- Last thought, I didn't really understand the concept of a dystopia back then, but now I do and it's really, it makes for an interesting story, especially when it's told via video games such as Bioshock. That game just blew me away. Admittedly, three. I haven't played any of the previous two yet, but I hear it's getting a remastered edition. Another game I really wanted to play right now is called Inside. I believe it was um, made by the same company as the designers who made Limbo. And if memory serves correctly, I think the... Um, for lack of a better word, the beta? Or early release of We Happy Few just came out, which seems like another good dystopian game. Judging from the E3 trailers. Oh no, my motion controls are betraying me. Or it's just my lackluster skills of controlling these flowers. Ah, we finally get some more color in suit in this landscape. And the turquoise flowers up there. Let's grab them. Join this magic school bus. I never really noticed that note it makes when we collect the turquoise flowers. Slowly adding more color to this stream of petals as well. There we go, and more Stonehenge. This reminds me of a, another game called uh, Dark Cloud 2 for the PS2. And it was released on the PSN store just a few months ago, I believe. That game is an RPG with very stunning music. Or captivating, should I say. Now the controller is actually making sound of its own. Sounds of its own. Gusts of wind. If I hold it to the mic, if it's not already picking up, it should come through. But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how it will sound then. Sorry, I was stunned by the uh, blue sky there again. And now it went black and white. Oh my goodness. This is real pretty.
beautiful. I'm gonna have to get a higher perspective later and check this out because grass this color? Really cool. Up, make a U-turn, grab you. It's like Wonderland or moreover like that stop motion film Coraline. If any of you have seen it, not to spoil anything, but there's a garden with really vibrant colors in that movie. That's all I'll say. Also, good movie. I highly recommend it. Hey, more yellow flowers. Really painting a rainbow in this landscape. Which is like the direct opposite of what it started off with, with that monochrome. Why did it... Why did the camera lead us there for a moment? Curiosity, though. Let's go. Uh... Come on. Is that all of you? Looks like it. And here we are. It's like creating a tempest with these flowers. Saying that sort of slipstream of wind. Is that the right term for it? Slipstream? There we go. So much more vibrant. Time to follow the green grass road. This looks so ideal. Oh wait, let's get that higher perspective. Oh no, fog? Looks like this is our limit to fly while getting a picture of this beautiful landscape. I can't get over this blue grass. It's so cool. Alright, moving on. Sounded like a nice little xylophone. Oh, blue flowers. And it's raining? Huh. I actually really enjoy rainy days when I don't have to go outside. Especially when you have- oh my goodness. Rainy days are the worst when you have to go outside. And if you have to go to like work or school. I could have really done without the soaked shoes. One time when I was walking in university, it was there was a huge downpour. And I was wearing boots, not rain boots per se, just regular boots, and the gutters were overflowing with water. I saw these people standing by the traffic light with rain boots on, and they were standing in the middle of the overflowing gutters, and I thought, hey, I'm wearing boots, might as well try it too. Bad idea. And pink flowers. But continuing off, the water found its way through for lack of a better word, the uh, cracks or weak points of the boots and seeped into my shoes or boots and soaked my socks. And uh, wet socks while wearing shoes isn't entirely the most fun thing in the world. Not to mention when umbrellas get flipped inside out, that's not entirely fun either. But when you're staying indoors, maybe with friends, then... Oh, wow. Oh, there's the pink whirlwind. But uh, as I was saying before, if you're staying indoors with friends while it's raining, maybe gathered around the couch with some blankets, food, a warm drink, and a good movie playing, or even a video game. That's bliss. All right. Wow, this canyon is amazing. Let's enter that whirlwind now, shall we? I really like that collection of petals there. Those blue, pink, yellow, red. Now that's a sight to behold. The clouds parting for a rainbow. 
and light sun showers. Sun showers are really pretty. Now our red flowers bloomed, along with another green leaf. It also looks like our apartment is being renovated. That's nice. Alright, until next playthrough, we'll be joining this pink flower over here. Alright, I'll see you next time.